They are reminding me that also Honorable Yakatonda Abuduru, who has been with us, by the way, that recruitment that you hear that numbers have increased from five from two hundred and fifty to twenty thousand today, who are members of Uganda Citizen Union. And also have book members, many of them, they are in the union only that they fear checking off, they want to, to deal that around. They are free riders, but we are trying to talk to you that Uganda says a midwives union, the pocket that you have, the money that you get today, I understand some of us, uh, men are admiring us and they really want to marry us better than how they used to do. It's because of that money that Uganda says a midwives union, Fought for. The divorces have reduced because of that money. So, and because of the rate. So, members, let us recognize Honorable Abdul for giving us that van. He gave us a pickup, and we have been recruiting the nurses, reaching everywhere outside there to make sure that you are in the union. I will conclude by telling you that we have a program. Oh, there is no two. I mentioned already. There is a list, the workers and MPs who are here to continue supporting us. Honorable Margaret Rashija, Honorable Abdul, please, we need promotions. These nurses you see, they have degrees that I have told you, but we are giving the degrees when we are being paid the certificate money. And that money, let me tell you, the local government leaders who are here, there is another trick, Brother Tedeo. I know you can reach the president of Uganda. The local government has continued uh, recruiting only enrolled nurses, certificate nurses, leaving other cadres. And uh, those ones are around 75%. You can imagine Uganda being cared for, for uh, being cared for for certificate nurses when they are degree nurses and, and masters. So we need them, we need these other, other nurses who have studied up to the degree, up, the, up to PhD, to be given jobs. The other thing is our scholarships. The President of Uganda gave us scholarships. I think Judith is one of the people who benefited to do her degree on that scholarship. But others have been at school and their, the fees has not been paid. And that is the next demonstration. If the fees is not paid, leave alone the intern issue. We are going to demonstrate for these ones who went to school and left the, the, the patient suffering. They went to on the scholarship of set house and the money has not been paid to the institutions where they studied. I know President was very clear, he gave us the scholarships, there are 18 scholarships which are supposed to be distributed in this country, according to regions per year, but you can imagine the government of United has failed to give us to pay fees for those nurses. If I can call some of them, they are here, and they are hearing. So members, as President is trying to support the nurses and members of Uganda, let us also in our offices respect the, the, the promises of the president. Presidential pledges should be respected because they make these nurses not to understand the country. The nurses are very patriotic, by the way. And they are requesting to go to Champans. Some of them have been requesting that they would like to go to Champans to meet the president and they would like him to be the one to teach them himself. So that they tell him about that those scholarships, they want the scholarships to be increased. That is training me on the job when I finish school and my parents have 
pay that fees? Why can't you promote me and you promote me and you train me more so that I can progress? Why nurses of Uganda on all our platforms we are saying we need we need what? Justice. The reason we need justice. Now there are suspects in in police. Others will also come and say if they have left these ones in case they are the ones or not. Then we can also kill another midwife, all right, or nurse. So I request the police to really, we shall work hand in hand. If government cannot facilitate you, you get an answer that we will do. We shall make sure. <laughs> On the matter that this has been checking off, we shall make sure we facilitate you. Personally, I will sign the check to make sure that you go down there with fuel to look for that person. Honestly, let me talk to the family. I request that this mother, the mother of Judith, I know she cannot come here. Let her be a VIP patient. Let her be treated the way she has treated all the mothers in this country. She has been a mother, Judith has been a mother for so many. Let us reward this family. And that not uh, forgotten. I think let's all allow where is the Mrago team? In case the family of Judith is sick, let's treat them with care and love. Police, thank you very much for being with us. I know you have been protecting us. Sometimes you also beat us by the way. And uh, you help uh, the politicians when they are taking us to police over allegations of mistreating the, the mothers, the patients, and so on. But we request you, for you who have come here to hear about Judith, I think you can go knowing who a nurse, midwife is, I know, this has been a lot of testimony. People have testified about who a nurse is. And we have many who are like Judith, so we may not get Judith. I want to tell you this, police, for sure, always try to take us away, because as we are trying to help, to save life, that is where we get some mistakes. We are also human beings. But sometimes, the way you take us, it's really heavy. And sometimes some nurses, these others, feel like resigning their jobs. So, this is my humble prayer, together with the, all the nurses and midwives of Uganda, since when Judith died, we request that, like how Alex has told me, he was not speaking. Now, we want to thank you for coming to support us, to, coming, to come to this place, to, to mourn with us, because of our colleague who has passed on. And uh, throughout this journey, it has opened my eyes that nurses and midwives are going through many, many issues. I got upon the research, secretary research, to research and education, to come on board and do research on issues that are affecting nurses. We have GBV, it is a lot. We have the salary issues. We have the, staff, the staffing norms affecting us. We are overworked. There is a lot of task shifting, doing the work of what we, are, we didn't even study for, but we stand bold as nurses and midwives of Uganda. You are the boldest people. You are heroes that I'm proud of. I call upon the our commissioner who can reach the president. Please take that message to him. We need him to support the nurses and midwives, especially also the interns. There has been an outcry. Those who finished in 2003, they are still sleeping in their homes. Please, I'm passing all this cry to you, that you hear them, let them be on the list. Let the system go on. Let also the priority, not be only doctors, but nurses. You find the ratio for the doctors is overwhelming. And you find that like one a tenth of the nurses are the ones going for intern 
its internship. So I call upon uh, the support from the government. Please, may you stand with us. Thank in a special way my colleagues, the VPs, Vice Presidents from East, Kalamoja, Busoga. I want to appreciate you so much. And this has given me a date that whenever things are happening in your regions, I have to move. Uh, a word from the president, he's online and watching everything step by step. He's representing us for Exacon. And uh, a word from him, he has promised that he's going together with the GS to make sure that they support the justice of the case of the late Judith. And he says he's going to follow it up, up to the end, and he will give the feedback to the nurses and midwives of Uganda. I want to appreciate police, the regional office, the national office, the public service led by uh, Mr. Kendall Robert. We want to appreciate you so much for every, every. Thank you, thank you, Mimi Kla, for him. Very hard working members, nurses of Uganda who are here. I usually talk about myself as a hardworking Chiga woman, but this woman has been very hardworking. You have heard how she started as a certificate nurse, diploma nurse, degree nurse. And we talked about this just five years ago when she joined. I was still doing my degree. I also started with a certificate. And I have masters in management science. And she was telling me, Annette, I will continue and do my masters. But God has not allowed us to see Judith graduate with masters. But we saw her graduating with a degree. So that is the type of a woman where when we talk about hard working, I think you can really testify. Judith, she has been a political leader, an activist but a peacemaker. You go to negotiate, and she will always tell you that, please let us listen. She's the one who led the merger with us. When a nurse dies or midwife in this country, we bury you with A+. Plus. And that is what Judith started. The whole country. As long as you're a member, and don't blame us for those ones who are not a member. Honestly, we don't bury them. Uh, the way we have buried Judith. So we have a package for A+. Plus. Uh, we have scholarships like you have had. Some of them we pay for them. Others are paid by His Excellency, the President of Uganda. We have insurance, which we are now working on. I know most of you have been talking about medical insurance. But the problem why it is not working very well, it's because you are very few. All of you subscribe so that we can care for your diseases. We have already ISEA. I think you can see Judith, she's in the, the chart of ISEA insurance. We are partnering with ISEA to make sure that we give you the services of insurance. Members, the salary increment, we have not stopped. There is some cabalance which started, which remains. Solidarity forever, solidarity forever, solidarity forever. Thank you.